again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. Darkness distorts everything. He's coming. I've got to get out of here. Is he talking about Hartman? Dive deep. what these other symbols are like other whatever is going on with wake he clearly needs some help yeah he does out of that situation <gasps> i don't like you i can't grab that because you're in my way okay does one of these rooms have a light do you have a light can i borrow this lamp no Okay, I apparently could have interacted with the other one. I didn't think I could. Meh? Turning it- oh! Federal Bureau of Control! Go away! Give me key. Thank you. Going in mad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. What? The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. The more springs, the more the story became real, the more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely, where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. Huh. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. Wake created a Dada's poem. I try anything once. Or had he tried this before? So. 
He created the hiss. Is that 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 that's what we're doing right now? Okay. Damn. Okay. Okay. Get the power on. We're... Oh, straight ahead. Gotcha. Oh, it's dark. Oh, I don't like... No, no, no. Another replica. Like the one they made for ordinary. I wonder what happened here. It's dark and I don't like it. Director Faden here. Definitely need back up. Definitely need back up. I can't see shit. What's this? Alice Wake interview. After reaching out to the Bureau, Alice Wake was brought into the oldest house for an interview on blank. 2017, see file blank for full transcript. The interview conducted by agents Shaw and Damsey revealed that Mrs. Wake has had recurring nightly visitations from her missing ex-husband in her New York apartment. Mr. Wake appears out of nowhere and rushes at her down the corridor. According to her impression, he appears crazy and horrifying, clearly coming at her with violent intent. Mrs. Wake believes he is haunting her, insisting he is not Alan, but a fucking monster in his body. Mrs. Wake has not been sleeping out of fear of these visits. Her attempts to keep the lights on through the night result in the relevant hallway's light bulb breaking every night, possibly indicating involvement of the blank. Further investigation required, we propose installing monitoring equipment in the apartment. Copies of supply requests from L5014 have been sent to Mr. Kirkland and administration for approval. Hmm. I can't see. Where are we supposed to go? It's gonna attack us. It's right there. All right, there is a, I see a thing and I see a thing to put it in. Oh, frick. I hate this. Oh God. Jesse! Oh God. Okay, I picked up a thing. So I should read it while I'm thinking about it. I thought it was gonna like, how do I, I can't pick up the power core to put it in the thing because it drained, it drained all my stuff. Ah. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation occurred at Cauldron Lake, Washington. The citizens of Bright Falls had gathered in the town's southwestern fields for the annual festival known as Deerfest. Eyewitnesses all claim that the day had been sunny, confirmed by reviews of the area's weather reports, but then with no warning, a thunderstorm appeared in the direction of the Anderson Farm and a tornado rose from Cauldron Lake. The torrential rain that followed caused a flash flood. It was as if the day had turned to night. Testimony from Redacted. Frank Breaker, the sheriff of Bright Falls, formerly a bureau agent, see employee file, managed to guide the crowd to safety as the festival grounds were destroyed by the flood. The festival was canceled, ending one day early. Lack of official bureau present on the scene makes this event difficult to report as confirmed AWE though the similarity to other known events in the Bright Falls area lend credence to the accounts of the townspeople. Oh, that was my guy. Shit! Oh, there's a light. There's a light. Oh, frick. Oh, God. Oh, I got it. Come back, come back, come back. Where does this go? Thank you for distracting him. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Now what? Oh god. Oh shit! Oh god. How do I get that one? Oh, I'm gonna die. 
how I'm gonna die. Just need a little help. Okay. You okay? I thought you died. You doing okay? There's a thing here. There we go. And then what? What do I do now? I don't know what to do. Is there a switch somewhere? It's a computer. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Oh, okay. So it left all these plugged in for me. All right. Cool. What's this? These are the notes of Doctor Emil. Somehow I gotta get the power back on. Alright, these are pulled to wires. Where do the wires go? Oh! Up there with that thing. Except he's right there. Come get me. Where are you? There you are. Okay, now you're crossing to the middle. Alright, I guess you'll just come this way then. Or I can just fly and zoom across as quickly as possible while I still have energy. One of those will work. Come this way. Yeah, just come after me. Come on. Come on. This 
has to be the butt. your face. Where'd you go? Charging. Come on. Oh, I hate your face. I need health. I need health. I need health. I need health. You were stretched. Get back to the thing! Oh no! Get back to the light! That's not. There we go. Oh, oh I gotta put everything back? Son of a. Powered by darkness and the hiss. Ooh, what was that? I need some health. There's gotta be some health around here, right? Some. Leave my guy alone. Oh god. Get him? Hartman won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? Hmm. I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No thank you. <laughs> ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here, an AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown, there shouldn't be any incoming signals. Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes. Uh, what's Alan up to? Or what's his double up to? set in motion. If the alarm's true, then so is the reason for the alarm. The effect must follow the cause. It's happening again. A return. Hmm. I didn't like those images. You have been warned. Are we done then? Is that it? Is that the end? Put a record on. That's it. I think we're done. I could go try and talk to somebody. Like I could, yeah, but I think we're done. Huh. So yeah, this was, this was fun. This was fun. I, like I said, I don't remember much of Alan Wake, and I know the remake is out now. And, um, can I get in this house? Because I'm really curious now. Oh, is this the cabin? We are in Bright Falls AWE, right? Came in up there. Well, he destroyed this. Is this the lodge? Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna poke around while I 
talk a little bit. Um. Interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to actually play Alan Wake. Like I said, I I remember the story really lost me. Um, and I don't remember. When did it come out? How old was I? 2010. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. So yeah, I was 22. I was old enough to understand the game. Um... But yeah, no, the story was lost on me, and um, I really didn't, I didn't like the gameplay. And I know the remake doesn't change anything about the gameplay, so I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll revisit it if it's, it seems like it is pretty, like Alan Wake somehow literally created the hiss. Uh, so that's a thing. We should go back into, um... We should, we should go back to that sector. Ooh. Hold on, there's stuff here to find. Wake evidence. A photograph of Alan Wake captured by Alice Wake during an event in her home. Alice Wake, former wife of Alan Wake, has recently been visited at night by her ex-husband or entity resembling him. Being a professional photographer, Mrs. Wake positioned cameras with motion sensors around the corridor he appears in and managed to capture an image of Mr. Wake on film. I need to see this. During an interview with Mrs. Wake, she mentioned that her favorite camera, a blank model, was lost in 2010 during AWE 35. No match has been found among the confiscated evidence from AWE 35. It's been filed as a potential altered item, and research staff stationed at Bright Falls are being contacted to check if they have any knowledge of such an item. So may maybe I should give the remake uh, a try, and maybe I'll appreciate it more than I initially did. I don't know. Oh, here's the photograph. Holy fuck. Yeah, that would scare the shit out of me. I mean, maybe he's screaming because he's trapped in the darkness. I didn't- I didn't need to see that. I said I needed to, but now that I have seen it, I wish I hadn't. This goes somewhere. Ah! Ooh, there's stuff down here! No, that's... not at all what I wanted. Why is there a button to call the elevator when you're down here? Oh, screenplay 4! Scientist turns from what used to be his director, now transformed into a stranger, an alien that only resembles the director in form. He drops his all-important clipboard as he stumbles toward the closing portal, but the horrible entity is already rushing through it in a flow of insanity and chaos. The scientist becomes caught in it, and the entity devours him, screaming as it enters our world. The director lifts his pistol to his head. His hand is steady, sure in its finality. Or so I thought. Camera fades to black, a gunshot is heard. And so, our hunger for control, our obsession for domination and power, the hubris at play in this children's puppet show we're, star we're starring in can only lead to our fall from control to submit to those who really hold the strings and control us in Night Springs and a screenplay. Alan. <sighs> so, the scientist was darling. The director in that was Trench, except Darling's fine, as far as we know. This must be where they studied Hartman. Kind of looks like Dylan's cell. I wonder if they treated him as badly. Yeah, I'm... They didn't even... They argued on whether or not he was even human, and if he needed to be treated ethically. On the day of the flooding, the rock band Old Guards of Asgard was rehearsing in a field outside the Anderson Farm, the homestead of band members Odin and Tor Anderson, both admitted to being in a heavy state of inebriation at the time, having spent days drinking their homebrewed moonshine while celebrating Deerfest. After the townspeople were evacuated from the flooded field, Sheriff Breaker was asked by Freya Anderson, daughter of Tor Anderson, to check on her father and uncle. Breaker drove to the Anderson farm and found the band members alive but in need of medical aid. Tor Anderson had been struck by lightning and Odin Anderson had cut out his own right eye, a, prof a possible reference to North deities. They claimed they had fought and violently defeated a dark army of the Scratching Hag rising from Cauldron Lake, related to the suspected blank at Diver's Isle. While impossible to verify these events were relevant to the reoccurring AWE at Bright Falls, 
in the Cauldron Lake blank. Odin and Tori Anderson have been listed as persons of interest. Yeah, so I may, I may just have to, I'll have to try it out. See if I like it any better, I guess, really. Look, I'm trying to explore the area. You're being very rude. we should be able to get in here somehow. <laughs> but I think we found everything. Part of me... So I've, um... I've read some reviews about the game, and some of them have said that after multiple playthroughs, the game kind of feels like it's lacking something. And... The stuff I've, I've noticed upon reflection that the stuff in this game is weird and crazy and I love it, but as far as like a personal connection or a personal story, it is pretty lacking. We have Jessie. Um, we know she's been through some shit in her life. That's mentioned, but it, it hasn't really, it came up a little bit in the Foundation AW where she's taking responsible, the Foundation DLC where she's taking responsibility for everything. And it's like, Jesse, this is not, like, this is not your responsibility. You don't have to put everything on you kind of thing. And then there's, um, but it's not, like, Jesse as a character, we haven't really dug deep into. And I would really like to go deeper. And then there's there's her story with Dylan, where it's like she came here, she came here to reunite with him. She found him. He was corrupted by the hiss. So, she, ooh, this is all their notes on what happened in Alan Wake. Um. She finds him, he's corrupted by the hiss so they don't get their reunion, and then when she clears him of the hiss, he's in a coma. So, like, that story is never... It's never fulfilled. And I do think... I do think that this kind of lacks a personal... A personal touch. Active investigations. I'm what I don't know where... Maybe it's Operation Center. So in a, in a sequel, I would really like to see this game or this franchise just dig deeper. I want to I wanna dig deeper into Jesse. I want to dig deeper... No, okay, I, I don't know which room it was. I want to dig deeper into her relationship with Dylan and what the heck is going on there. But at the same time, I don't want to get away from all the weirdness. Because that's what, that's what makes us a ton of fun. It's just fun. I wanted, okay, I wanted to go to the operations center, so I clearly went the wrong way. But yeah, this was, this was a fun time. Here we go. And I want to see, I definitely want to see more of Pope and Arish. Langston was fun to get more of this time. Yeah, so we can't interact with it at all. Bright Falls, Washington. And I can't even read what it says. Looks the same as all the others. And it's not lit up. But yeah, I would I would definitely play a sequel. And I will consider playing the Alan Wake remake. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know how that'll go. But I will try it. I will try it and um, we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, this has been tons of fun, and I hope that you have also enjoyed, and I hope that you are all staying safe, and you are well, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.